big block as well. So both hands on the floor. AJ Edu has contributed alongside Renz Abando who had a spectacular highlight block in the first half of the day. Yes. Uh, I thought that was great timing, you know. And Abando seems to know his place on the floor and when what shot he has to take. You know, especially uh, that good defensive stop. I think Iran also may have some changes coming for them here in the second half of play, you know. So the score is 40 to 34. Philippines will alter their starting unit a little bit with RR Pogoy in the ball game, replacing uh, Ray Park, who started earlier. First possession will belong to Villas Filipinas to open the third quarter. Again, this is a 2023-81 WUS International Basketball Tournament. In Heiyuan, China, this is the first international basketball tournament being held here in the city. There was a lot of excitement. You can see there are fans inside this arena. Even though there is no Chinese squad playing, Dr. J is enjoying the hoops action between Senegal, the Philippines, and Iran for this tournament. Yeah. Well, here in the second half, we inserted Pogoy as part of the starting five. The only change. And he goes strong to the hoop, scores, and run. Our Pogoy off to a good start. Eight points now in the matchup. Could be nine as a bonus free throw is coming up. And you know that Coach Chotarayes drew that play up and it was executed to perfection, Dr. J. And the execution was perfect. This is a very difficult shot because you have the big man coming at you and he had to stretch to try to get it off the glass. Let's see if he can complete the three point play. Misses, however, but gets his feet. own rebound. Yep. Get the ball back for Hardo and get to score. Right, Ramos, three point shot, no good. Fajardo secures the board. You should take him now. Newsom. Back to Dwight. Four seconds to shoot. Someone needs to make a decision here. Ramos on the drive. Pass it at the last moment. Results to a turnover. Could have been a shot already for Dwight. After Lil Zahan comes up empty on that fast break attack. Counter, fast break run. Dwight Ramos lays it up in it. So he's also in double figures right now, no? Dwight Ramos together with Jimmy Malonzo. And they have led the Philippines to this 10 point advantage, 44 34. Could have been an 8 second violation there versus Iran. Swooping layup is gone with a foul. Possible three point play coming up here for uh, Iran on this drive by. This is Yazabulu Amir Hussein. Open Burtz. That basket for five points in the ball game to make it six. You know, no one, Dr. J, no one has scored more than six points for Iran. A very balanced scoring for their side. Yeah. Well, I think because we've also been able to scout them, you know, so it's also, we can, we had adjusted our defense to the kind of offense that they're playing. Ramos now looking for Fajardo, the double team coming. Jumar dribbles it out, right, right, back to Dwight Ramos, repose, reseal, Ramos, nice pass, but Fajardo could not finish. Got to finish stronger than that, you know, biggest player on the floor. Fajardo still trying to get himself into a groove here as that pull-up jumper Majid Rahimian with his second three ball of the matchup and just like that it's only a four point lead for the Philippines after leading by ten points Ramos is really trying to set up for hard though but he forces up a shot this time missing on the one-hander Dalir Zahan on the move, gets the bump, layup won't work as he was fouled for two free throws. Yeah, defensively you have to get ahead of the guy, you know, and you can't wait for him, and they're going to try to bump him from uh, from the side, that's an automatic foul. You know, we already enjoyed the 10 point lead, but we have given up six straight points, and the Zahan trying to add two more from the free throw line. 
Last couple of possessions have looked stagnant, Dr. J, for the Philippines, as I think they were trying a little too hard to look for June Marjardo. Yeah, and the other thing, when June Mar had a 12-footer, he should have taken it because the defensive player sagged off. June Mar was still trying to get it to his teammates. I think there is a point there where he must be able to take that jump shot. Split from the line, so the score is 44 to 41. A substitution here as Renz Abando comes in for Dwight Ramos. Abando coming in for uh, Dwight Ramos. Ogoy has the basketball, waiting for that June Mark 3. There's the pass. pass. Open three point shot, Malonzo missing that one a little bit long. Great look. However, good pass coming from Pogoy. Pass to Lir Zahar. Good block. Abando forward pass. Here we go. Abando will start. Abando has two defensive stops with a block. And this one is lobs it home. Showing off the athleticism on both ends of the floor. The chase down blocks and then two-handed throw down. And now the Philippines... Led by five points once again, 46-41. Step through move does not work out for Dalir Zahan as the rebound is fought by Nusa. Nusa Bando, baseline drive. They recover. Nusa will reset the play. RR Pogoy. Good pass for Ardo. Finally scores. Finally, Junmar getting a field goal here, no? and giving us, establishing a seven-point lead for the last Filipinas. Good little four-to-nothing counter for the Philippines after that six-to-nothing run for Iran. Difficult look there. There's also another Philippine stop. R.R. Pogoy on the drive, kicks it out. Abando to Malonzo. More open Short. for the three, but this time it won't work. Fajardo, ball down low, he'll take two. And that's what he always does well. Get offensive rebounds, give you the pump fake, and then tries to take it hard. So this play one more time. And Renz Abando goes for the block and the dunk. Well, Coach Cho tried to put two big men now, Carlo. To ease, you know, the pressure on Junmar Fajardo. They're simply double teaming him, forcing him to give up the ball. And it will be interesting, Dr. J, to see him playing alongside AJ Edu. This Correct. is the first time we're Correct. seeing it in this ball game. Yeah. I think everybody's anxious to see what he can do playing uh, alongside Edu, who did very well in his stint in the first half. And Dr. J, we know the chemistry between Junmar Fardo and Japet. Now let's see if he can also do that with AJ. And so far, so good. AJ win the tap to be in possession. Oh. Pogoy is open. That would oh. not work though, but it was a beautiful look coming from RR Pogoy. Just could not send it home. Yeah, you can't blame the shot though. And you should take the shot when you're given that kind of opportunity. Seven point lead for the Philippines. Jumper won't work. Edu with another board. So some directing traffic goes down out of hard though. Yeah. You have a foul there. On the catch. Moment. Baseline out of bounds action here. Curl for Pogoy. Sets it out to Junmar. Are the waiting for the handoff to Newsom. No. Mid range. It was blocked. Five seconds still on the shot lap. Fajardo comes up short. Possession there for Gilas Filipinas. Let's see if they can uh, make up for it on the defensive end. Ansari on the move, lost his grip on the basketball, taken away by Pogoy. That, I think, yep, bounce off of the foot of Pogoy. So, a wasted fast break opportunity for Gilas, Dr. J. Yeah, lost an opportunity for a fast break because there was interference run by the defender. Another substitution here for Iran. Taking out a big man here. Yazarlu Amir Hussein stepping out of this ball game. Aram Sadeh checking in. 48 41 is the count to a seven point lead as you approach the midway mark of the third quarter. AJ Edu 
doing his best to defend here. Father the shot and force a miss, picks up the rebound. Another good stint. Dr. J for AJ Edu yeah, here in the third good quarter. Defense. from Abando, so it will stay with the Philippines till a lot of time remaining, 17 on the clock. 17 seconds and we're going to see Bobby Ray Parks give another opportunity here in the third quarter. It's a good substitution, Pogo has missed a couple of shots already here after making that layup at the start of the third. But you also understand why Coach Sotreyes wants to play him a lot of minutes. You know, he knows him. Yeah? Yep. He, he knows oh! Him. To get back into shape as Fajardo converts on that mid-range look. Nine-point lead for Gilas Filipinas, 50 to 41. Azari pulls the trigger for three. Rims out. AJ Edu with another board. And Jun Mai, you know, giving it to him. You know, he didn't try to jump with him. That was a good seal, but they didn't get the ball to Junma. Maybe AJ was not yet comfortable making that high-low pass. As Abando pulls the trigger, does not sink the three-point shot. Three-point look, won't work. But the tap goes back to... Iran taken away though by Abando, and now they're rushing down court. Junma. Good seal. to Edu. Yes. So we were wondering what kind of penalty AJ Edu will have with Junmar Fajardo and that is second violation called against Iran. And Dr. J, in the international game, when you go inside the shaded area and you fake, if you don't shoot, you're in trouble. That's an automatic call. <laughs> you're in trouble. If you pass it out, they will call a three second violation automatically. As CJ, ooh, pass is a good idea. The reception was not. And Japet, you know, we can say in our vernacular, nangihinayam, no? na hindi niya natanggap yung paso niyo. Would have been an easy basket there for Aguilar. 52-41. That will not work. Well defended by Japet. CJ using the brush screen from AJ Edo. Abando. Dumping the ball inside. Now they swing it over. Perez attacks middle. Perez would not finish right there at the cup. He's having a rough night today. Turnovers, not being able to finish at the basket. Has not yet scored in this ball game. Talking about CJ Perez. But Iran's offense is a little out of its usual flow, Dr. J, here in the third quarter. They're, they're Offense, they're not getting their usual shots in the third quarter. Well, Iran, obviously because we're really almost switching and then almost always closing out on their uh, big-time scorers. At the same time, that was a foul called against Bobby Ray Parks. Not the right way to box out by using your hips. <laughs> Malonzo still leads the Philippines with 11 points. The White Ramos has 10. Oboy and Abando both have 8. AJ Edu with seven points <laughs> in this match. That will be an N1 for Iran to finally halt the bleeding. Yeah. You know, Jampet has just got, he's the type of a player. Once he gets a score going for himself, he can pull himself together. Sometimes he gets a little frustrated with himself. He just has to be tougher than that, though. Azari with the free throw, and okay, that's good. We cut down the lead to eight on that three-point play. Two minutes and 35 seconds left here in the third quarter. AJ waiting for the handoff. Edu still with the basketball. Struggling to find a recipient, and that pass was stolen. Chapet with a denial, and the stop is completed. Forward pass now to Abando. He does not have the numbers. Abando doesn't care as he scores. Yeah. Oh, that's offensive, offensive foul. foul against him. That's what we call a uh, Halle. Yeah. Chicken wing. <laughs> Wasted opportunity again on the fast break. Yeah, the referee calling an offensive foul on Abando. 
still an eight-point lead for Giras. Azari goes between the legs on the snatch back. Gorgeous shot coming from the Iranian. It's a what? A five to nothing run against us. Six to nothing run. Fifty-two to forty-six. CJ on the drive, one hander. Finally, finally it falls. And you can see him squat after making the shot, like he's so happy with himself. That should give him some confidence here. 54-46 is the count now, an eight-point advantage. Another three on the way. Good rebounder by Jappe. But he was warned by three defenders. Azari put on the line, long two, won't work. CJ with the board. They do ceiling early, but they could not deliver him the basketball. CJ finishes with the left. Oh, once that first shot went in, you know, makes it so much easier for the player. Take the monkey out of your back, easier to score. Back-to-back -back hits for Perez. They're now back to a 10-point lead for the Philippines, 56-46. Only seven seconds to work with. They find Azari once again. A shot, I think, was cut by Japet. Forward pass was available, but CJ could not deliver the basketball to Japet. We can go for a two for one here. Mark sends it out to AJ. Now Abando has it using the screen. Grant pulls the trigger, won't work for three, but AJ working hard on the boards gets another one. Now we can use the clock a little bit. Now there's a difference of about eight seconds. DJ one on one. Cool. From downtown, he takes it. Seven straight points for CJ Perez. And now establishing the biggest lead of the ball game for Gilas Filipinas. Buzzer being attempt will be short. As CJ Perez comes alive at the end of the third period. Game of Gilas Filipinas in your 2020 WUS WUS International Basketball Tournament. Carla Papitumad and Dr. J. Andy Howe on the call. The baseline here in China. Jamie Malonzo still leading. Gilas is scoring with 11 points. Ramos has 10. But Dr. J. AJ Edu, 7.7 rebounds in this ball game already. Yeah, and we have uh, Kiefer Rabena and Kadwin Octana coming into the ball game. Sorry. Knew that if he continued complaining, he might get another technical. <laughs> That's why he decided against it. Rabena, Oftana on the floor alongside Parks. Japet Aguilar and CJ Perez. That is the five right now of Coach Chot Reyes. He did a decent job of quarterbacking in the minutes he played in the first half. Had three assists in the ballgame. Kiefer, crossover. Nice pass, CJ another three. This time it's short though, but Ocana tapped it over to Perez to keep the possession for the Philippines. Uh, that's using your brains a little bit there. Don't force a shot. Use the shot clock and get a better shot. Open shot now. Top yes! Ocana, but it is going for three. And that will be his first basket of the ball game. So a little separation now, Carlo. 16 point lead, biggest of the ball game for Gilas Filipinas. Better defense in the second half, yeah. better outside shooting. And that's why Iran has been forced to take difficult shots. Montana defending a bigger opponent. Ooh. Look clean from our angle. But Iran will get a break as the foul is called <laughs> on the shot. <laughs> They called it on Calvin of Tana. <laughs> but then again, Dr. J, when you defend tenaciously yeah. with good intensity, sometimes you might not get the calls, but at least you know that the presence, the defensive energy is there for Gilas. Yeah, you're correct. At the same time, you're letting the opponents know you're not getting any freebies yeah. for me underneath the basket. We're all going to be all there. 
and he missed the first free throw, so that's what I get point said if he if he didn't defend hard, no? So he splits his charities. 15 point lead still for Gila, 62 47. Again, tomorrow it will be Gila's versus the squad of Senegal. So Senegal is preparing for the pre Olympic qualifying tournament as Japan gets a friendly bounce. Now that might get him started. Remember, I said that. Now, once he feels that he has made the basket, you know, it's going to make it, the game easier for him. Because we know it, what he can do, you know. Four points in the ball game. For Japet, and they are shutting down all options in this possession. Only four to shoot here. As Sparks takes the ball away, Ray Ray on the move. Layup is good with a foul. That was a bad foul there, by the way. You know, Bobby Ray Parks had a clear area already, you know, and just giving him a possible three point play. It's a good steam, took it out. The guy was there already, no, no, no reason to foul him. And Toggy has come into the ball game to replace uh, CJ Perez, who has had struggled, but that seven straight points near the end of the third quarter established this big lead for us. Now, right. Bobby probably is one of our best free throw shooters, but I like to, you know, play around with the odds a little bit by saying that. Well, you know, I really believe that because I've seen him in the past. No? Maybe I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> when you released it, I said, no. You have missed five free throws at least, you know, Carlo, in this ball game. But, but, the, last one, but the last one was on you, though. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm sorry, Bobby. 66-47, still a 19-point lead, though. And that's a foul there on the pan again. Little bit aggressive. But again, sometimes it will happen. It's important is they're defending with great intensity. Two team fouls already called against Gilas Filipinas. Bobby Ray Parks being replaced here by Edo was uh, impressed us a little bit yeah. uh, with this yeah. game here. Overall, uh, offensively and defensively. 7.7 7 rebounds and a block for AJ Edo. Another, another steal here. here. This time by 30. Forward pass. Ostana goes to the other side and hits the basket with a foul. This is also the bane of this Iranian team that we saw yesterday against Senegal. They commit a lot of turnovers and it resulted in easy layups or dunks for the big Senegalese team. No turnovers hurting Iran all over again. Uh, the Philippines has blown this game wide open. 21 points. 47. What was the biggest lead yesterday? I think 20, you know. A couple of times, no. But then it was the fourth quarter where Iran made that big comeback. But here, the Milas Filipinas not letting up. You can see how tough their defense is. Then Fighting over screens. Dr. J. Iran prides itself for playing their system. As Another good block oh by Edo. I thought that was a clean block <laughs> once again. Put up all the floor. Uh, it was all, his presence is always there, huh? Oh, that's up in the air, no? You can see there was no body contact. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that will uh, force a smile uh, from my daughter. Terry Dinavena knows all about those highlight dunks that somehow yeah. end up being all the fouls. Kaya kahit pati siya nangihinayang for AJ. But again, foul or not, that was great defensive pressure from AJ. By, by Edu. That lead so miss from the free throw line. Yeah, and Edu, I remember, was coming from the weak side to help. Mm -hmm. So he just covered the man for his two misses. I jump it's uh, almost the second time he has lost possession of the ball after a rebound. Edu is not giving it up. That's tough. AJ Edu. That's just pure effort coming from the young big. He was not able to play a single tune up game during the European training camp due to a badly sprained ankle. But now, looking like he is near 100% already. And we're seeing just a small glimpse, Dr. J, of what he can deliver. Yeah. This guy is a legitimate 6'8, maybe 6'9 player. No? And he's long. Huh? Get up. Remember, I think he, 
Scaloni was, uh, you know, halted a little bit because of an injury, you know, that took him out for a while. And that's multiple knee injuries that he had to battle back from. But now looking good for Gilas as Ofana misses on that outside shot. Three minutes already gone by in your fourth quarter. In this friendly matchup between Iran and the Philippines. Iran still not getting anywhere with this set. They will rely on a one-on-one -on -one here. Easily tapped out. Great defense still for the Philippines. 1.3 seconds remaining on the shot clock for Iran. Things are going so near. Just want to make sure that you cover the basket here, no? Let them shoot from the outside. That shot. Oh, he made it. Good. And that bet did not kill shot because they were in zone. So when the big man popped out, yeah. there was no way to stop it. 69 But you like him. You like him, Carlo, because he knew yeah. exactly the time left on the shot clock. And he took it quickly. Good thing. But only a long Open shot. Put on the line. Ray Ray Parks. If it's from the outside, that'll be a foul against Thirdy Ravenna. And that will be our 14th foul in this quarter. 20 point lead for the Fil Gilas Filipinas. 621 left in this ball game. So Iran will be playing in the upcoming World Cup. They're in Group G with uh, Spain, Cote d'Ivoire, and Brazil. Of course, the Philippines will be going up against the Dominican Republic, Italy, and Angola in Group A. And we need to keep an eye on the performance of Iran and in China as well because the best Asian finisher, Dr. J, will be qualifying for the Paris Olympics come next year. Yep, yep. Everybody's trying to get in there, you know. That's the reason why Senegal is even playing uh -huh. as they try to go, oh, power breaks but traveling. <laughs> Skid. Referee saying that he was not able to hit the brakes well. Dragging his favorite foot, ball for steps as AJ Edu receives a nice ovation from the bench. Oh, everybody is yeah. everybody's congratulating him. Low fives here. Great game, great game, great effort. Four right, minutes by already here in the fourth and final quarter. As we thank you once again for joining us. Chapet might have been fouled there. But a stop completed by Iran. Yeah, you know not, what I know. You know what I noticed, Carlo? We really miss Scotty Thompson a lot. Because right now I think that's our weakest area, is our point guard position. And you can see that turnover. You know, Scott is quite good in uh, and very confident with his game, uh, carrying the ball. He's done that for Team Cornu Ginebra. That's a guy that we really miss at this stage. Of Still. course, besides Clarkson yep. and maybe Kai, you know. Still on the mend is Cody Thompson. Oh, that's a tough screen there. And it leads to an opening for the heading. And we wish Cody Thompson continued recovery with that an injury that he suffered in the European training camp, but I believe he was able to join his uh, graduation right if he was not able to make this trip. So congratulations as well, Scotty Thompson. Yeah. The ball stays on the side of Gilas Filipinas, 30. Gives it up to Parks. Ray Ray lost his grip on the basketball. That's another turnover. Bit of sloppy basketball from the Philippines in the last few possessions. Chris Newsom is coming in to replace uh, Bobby Ray Park. Struggling also in this game. And Newsom is the guy that's really played a lot of points with his commercial team. Really. Mm -hmm. yes, no? When the offense is not a form, adjustment is to send in a point. Or... So that is what is expected from Chris Lucas at this stage as we're just past the midway mark of the final quarter. Yazavlu on the drive from Newsom. Uh, even if Newsom is not scoring, that's what they need from him, his defense. Ability to rebound on both sides of the floor, plus quarterbacking. 
We all know how well he defended in the Southeast Asian Games. It was key to regaining the gold medal. Three point shot way downtown. It's good for Hussein. And down to a 13 point lead. That's what we saw with Iran. They never quit. Yeah. They don't quit. No. They will play with the same level of intensity and still trust their system. Oftana, good pass to Japet Aguilar. Back to Oftana, open momentarily for three and he sends it home. But the bailout there for Japet being able to get it to a shooter was open. Back to a 16 point lead for Gilas. Japet defending the guy who just made the three point shot. Might have dragged his pivot foot. And we're in the penalty, so that foul will send the offended player to the free throw line. Ooh, that was a clear traveling violation of the people that he played up to the But again, these things happen. Referees can miss some balls from time to time. Rapid exits, AJ Edo checks back in. And these are important minutes. It's important minutes, Dr. J, for AJ Edo. I think, yeah, he's learning, learning. I would not put in the penalty. I thought I thought that red light there was a penalty already. Now we are. Now yeah, we're now we're in the penalty. Yep. Four minutes remaining. Good swipe. Oh, what a foul against 30. Well, it was a little bit late, but they made it anyway. The shots now coming up for Iran. That's that's how he has always played. You know, he likes to reach in, try to steal the ball. You know, go coast to coast. But this time, they'll be taking two free throws. But the defensive mentality... Is there, you know. Yep, but that's what he is. When you get to penalty situation. The runners miss a ton of free throws yeah, here yeah. in the fourth quarter. <laughs> they've been given opportunities to come back here, but they miss a lot of free throws. Making that second one. All of a sudden, the full court press coming from Iran, easily handled by Gilas. Thanks to that forward pass from Nusan to Ravenna. 72-57, still a 15-point lead for the Philippine side. Nusan using the Dwight Ramos ball screen. Nunu to Ramos, for the shoot, step to the side, three-point shot. Good line a little strong. As the rebound is grabbed by Iran. Oh, and then a foul is called against Oftana. These are the fouls that you need to stay away from when you're in penalty. miss a shot or you're not able to get the rebound, you have to realize the situation of the penalty against your team. You, you cannot give up fouls and stop the clock and give free throws. When Zabando will see action. 3 minutes 27 seconds remaining in this ball game. As we're waiting for the two free throws coming up here for Nosrat Yazarlo. Jamie Malonzo and I the Jumma has game. not been sent yep. back anymore to play a little bit better here because Jamie already did his job in the first half correct Edo this guy is continuously being given the opportunity you know, they probably want to size him up if we, really, if we can really use him in the World Cup lineup so. no, uh, that was well read this is just a 13 point lead now for Gilas. They need to defend a little bit better in the final three minutes of this ball game. Three point shot. We'll drop home as Ramos takes the basketball away. Forward pass to Obando. But he will now force the issue. 30. Out to AJ. Pull up jumper a little too strong. And we gotta take that with conviction, yeah. yeah. down low. Too many defenders forcing him to that miss. Oh, he to go. Now Newsom locates Ramos. Hand off now to Ravenna. With 12 remaining on the shot clock. Abando for three. Short. Gilas Filipinas versus Senegal. That will be tomorrow. Still so here on one sports, of course. 
Every time he penetrated, he almost always loses the ball. Got to realize that these are, you know, international team players already. And they close out on you when you put the ball down on the floor. Gonna reach in, and you know, referees are not always gonna bail you out by making a call. No? So you have to protect the ball. Iran, again, will not stop playing. They're still trying to get back into this ball game, even if the clock is not their friend. Lusam asking for a high ball screen. And there's a switch on D. Lusam with a speed advantage. He swings it over to 30. Back to Lusam up top with a drive. Nice back pass. And oh, with a two-handed throw down. And the crowd loved that. They wanted to see somebody duck the ball, you know. That was an, oh, this one, 30, read it all the way. Sorry. And just going to hold on. And that will be the final stop hey, of this ball game. You have to cross the line. It's not going to get caught by the violation. <laughs> It's just fitting, Dr. J, that A.J. Edu will finish strong in this matchup because this was a tremendous performance coming from the young big man.